Hey everyone, so for this next video, I thought I'd give y'all an updated room tour. Didn't want to talk to you too much before, so let's go ahead and get into it. So let's get this room tour started off right. Uh, we'll start with uh, these here in just a moment, but first of all, uh, this was one of the concerts I went to back in 2015. But I also have a lot of just random posters, random stuff just hanging here on the walls. There's the mighty Thor, Spider Gwen, Merida, and Doctor Strange. Now I do have a couple of signed things here. Mainly wanted to highlight this Volbeat uh, signed CD that I have here. And there are just a couple of other random bands that I have signed as well. I have so much signed stuff that sometimes I literally blank on what is signed and what is not. I do believe that, yeah, this one is signed by Cedar. Uh, this one was signed by Nick Fueling of Pop Evil, and I'm just trying to remember what that one was. Um, I'll have to come back to that. Um, I have all record store day posters except for one year that I've been going. Uh, it's completely fine. You'll see with the rest of the wall uh, what's going on. I do like to hang my hats here behind the door uh over here we have uh, a new addition to my setup so i do like to play games every once in a while so i have a nintendo switch and a playstation 5 also uh along here is i have a pretty nice vhs collection so this vhs player uh, goes up to my tv which i'll show in a second uh there is my tv and you can kind of see me in the reflection here but also above and below the TV, we happen to see a whole bunch of different posters and different things here. I'm going to move on over here. I'm going to end with the um, and this wall, and then we'll head on over to take a look at the the shirts. Uh, upcoming here, you can see I do have quite a considerable amount of the Record Store Day posters. Uh, a couple of Amiibos from uh, Legend of Zelda. For, so for this one is for a game called Skyward Sword. And this over here is Tears of the Kingdom. This is a picture of when I got to see Breaking Benjamin. This is a... Oh, I need to fix this here. Oh, we're here. A couple of Doctor Who related uh, photos. So this was sent to me via a friend. Some fan art of a bunch of different Doctors. So there's the third Doctor. The fourth Doctor. Uh... Sergeant Benton is in there. Uh, the demon from uh, the serial The Demons. There is a classic Cyberman and a Silurian there. Uh, this is my favorite doctor here, the second doctor with Ben and Polly and a Dalek. I will talk a little bit more about my Doctor Who stuff in just a moment, but I also have a really cool Star Wars figurine of Mace Windu. Really like him. So here is my turntable. This is a U-turn, uh, basic turntable. And I do have a Grado green cartridge on there. This is actually on a full kind of stack itself. I was listening to some records earlier. So uh, here's my Yamaha receiver. Down here is a uh, Panamax uh, M5 m5 5100 ex this is an isolator so what this does is i put all my components uh in here and it isolates them one via one via one to kind of remove interference and i actually do have a tiac cd deck along with some cassettes and um various storage things that i have down there uh for my preamp i use a pluto preamp and i'll go over which speakers i have uh as well so let's move on to the next area. So I have some shirts that I do wear and some I like to keep on display. Uh, this is when I got to see Cassidy Pope earlier this year. You'll see that here in a future video where I actually talk about that. But this was the tour shirt for that particular uh, show. She did a headlining tour uh, semi-recently as of the filming of this. Along with that, I do have a Seether shirt from when I saw them way back in, what year was that? 2012, I believe. Yeah, 2012. This is signed by the band. 
so I do not wear this because I did not, actually this is 2011 actually. Uh, well, actually got in 2011, I think I saw them twice, but 2011, yeah. So um, these were all the shows for that tour, but I this was at the time when we did not have the, um, we didn't have really any fabric Sharpies, so I literally have not worn this since I bought it because I want to keep the signatures on there and they kept pretty well over these years. Underneath that, I have, if you've seen this back when I used to film behind me, you notice these shirts here. Uh, this is signed by a Diamante. Uh, somebody I've talked to, talked about quite a bit on my channel. And then I did not get to see churches, but they came close by when this was the tour shirt. And I absolutely wanted to grab this. I'm glad to have it. But the show that, I, that would have been in my area, they spelled it incorrectly. And even the back itself is not, none of the shows line up correctly. But I'm glad to actually have this. And there's one more shirt here on the rungs as well. And that is Red Sun Rising. It's still signed by the members of the band, but I've worn it a couple of times. So it has faded a little bit, but it is nice to have shirts that I can rotate through. I'm just going to keep rolling through this. Put these back up here. So what I like to do is I like to rotate out what is displayed here. Because sometimes I do like to close the door when I'm listening to music. Um, really just depends. Sorry about that. I want this to be nice. And you know what? I'll just leave that for now. So this is my big music wall. And this is uh, where I see what I see most of the time when I sit in here. This is uh, one of my favorite things about the room is all the concert memorabilia and stuff that I've had over the years. Starting up here, this is when I got to see uh, Breaking Benjamin with Three Days Grace and Diamante. And that was a really lovely show. Uh, this is from a band called Bison. Believe it or not, uh, actually the last Bison, I forget what name, they had to change their name at some point, but this was not filmed or taken during the nighttime. This was actually taken during the day with a really weird way I did the exposure and I'm really happy about that. Uh, these next two photos are when I got to see Pearl Jam. The only time I got to see Pearl Jam. Hang on, let me see if I can turn the light off. There we go. <laughs> you can see a little bit easier when I have it that way. Over here is uh, Lacuna Coil. So got to see them up in Baltimore. Have a couple of signed photos and memorabilia things over here. So if I remember correctly, uh, Steel Panther is in here. Frank Carter and the Rattlesnakes. There's Adelita's Way. And then one of the couple of signed things I have, that was the almost OG lineup of Paramore back when uh, Brand New Eyes was out. This is one of the many times I have seen, turn that light off again, many times I have seen the band Pop Evil. This was in the, uh, in a parking lot just randomly in North Carolina for a chili cook-off. That was a really fun show. Uh, I also have a Disney clock here, which <laughs> if you know me, you know how much I love Disney and I apologize, I need to dust in here, but I, I wanted to make a quick video. Uh, down here are some random guitar picks that I've happened to got over the years. Uh, some are from uh, Stone Sour. Uh, some are from, event, one is from Event Sevenfold. Two are from Three Days Grace. So these two right here are Three Days Grace. This is 38 Special. This is Seventh Heaven. This is Noodles from The Offspring. Uh, here was from Stone Sour. This is Mike Inez from Alice in Chains. And down here is Zachy Christ from Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, over here are two really cool shadow boxes. The first one is uh, Godsmack. I got to see them uh, last year along with uh, Foo Fighters. I'll, I'll do a concert recap of the last two years or so. And I did happen to get a guitar pick there as well. In here are some uh, various things I've gotten signed over the years. Uh, I've bought I bought this sign, but I got this sign when I got to see Pop Evil 
Uh, this was caught at 30 special uh, one time when I was at uh, seeing them at a free concert. I also have my VIP laminate for when I got to see and meet Paramore for the second time. My first meet and greet was this time here. Uh, this is when I got to meet a solo meet and greet for Jenna McDougall. So I do keep some of this information, uh, some of the, uh, not some of the information, some of the uh, wristbands I do actually keep from various concerts. Speaking of Jenna McDougall, there is one of my favorite shots. Uh, this was taken during one of the two warp tours that I went to quite a few years ago. And this is the tweet. So for those who don't know, I have been heavily collecting since 2012. And this is the tweet that got it started. So uh, I had just my parents' collection, just a small little bit of my parents' collection. It was like, hey, you know, what, what records should I start looking for? And I asked a whole bunch of my favorite singers and musicians on Twitter, and it was this one here. Uh, I went to my favorite record shop uh, maybe a month or two after, and I bought Led Zeppelin 4, and that was the record that I credit for me actually heavily collecting. Down here, <laughs> I got to see Tonight Alive twice, um, and one was on a both of Warp Tours. Um, the other Warp Tour that I went to, um, I, I have the other... Um, the other commemorative ticket is somewhere else in my house. But uh, I drew this particular drawing based on the song Crack My Heart, and I had the band sign it. Also that same year, or relatively the same year as this show, I got to see and meet Stone Sour. So this is one of two things that I have signed by the band. I also, uh, just a moment ago, if you, I just remember this show right here. I had uh, Paramore sign my copy of uh, Ain't It Fun. So this is signed by that lineup or that version of Paramore. And also I was very lucky enough to go to my indie store, one of the two in, here in the city that I live in, and get the Taylor Swift Folklore signed CD. So really this is just kind of my love letter to a whole bunch of stuff that I like. Uh, I did happen to go to this year's, uh, at where my city is, Comic-Con, and one of the panels was uh, uh, based on Batman the Animated Series. Two of the mainstays, uh, Mr. Burnett and Mr. Altieri, uh, two very influential and heavy hitters when it came to uh, creating the show, happened to be there. And I got this signed by them. Uh, this Cassidy Pope hat I will explain in a future video talking about the show, but that is... Um, uh, I got that basically from the show, quote unquote, uh, but I wanted to show that off. And now I actually can show the collection. But first, I wanted to show that uh, this is a very small room, so I'm going to have to move this chair. But basically, and I'll, I'll show all that too, but I, I sit here or I actually go and sit at my desk um, when I'm just hanging out here in the room watching things. So I'm going to have to move this chair while we're here, but I wanted to just give an idea of kind of where things are uh, in this room. And, and I'll, I'll show a little bit more here in just a moment. Now, let me go ahead and move this. We are doing this unedited. Want this to be one long take here. So we're gonna move now from this wall on over. I got to see Pearl Jam quite a few years ago. And unfortunately this year they broke their streak. So uh, for this show, they had come around this area eight years prior. And then they came eight years prior to that. They did not come here this year, so they broke that streak, unfortunately. Uh, but, you know, life moves on. Uh, this is just, uh, grab this at one Comic-Con convention that I was at. Just a nice little art print there of Daenerys. Um, I'm not too big a fan of Game of Thrones, but I like the art style in that one. That's why I got that. Uh, so this is, this is my late pet my cat that I had quite a few years ago and uh, she's still in here in spirit. Uh, I miss her a lot, but she's still here. Behind that is the dog from the Carousel of Progress at Walt Disney World. This was for the 50th anniversary of Disney World and he just kind of hangs out here and uh, listens to the music. I won this guy in a claw game 
this is Gollum from Lord of the Rings. And behind that is one of my two small Disney backpacks for Donald Duck. Donald Duck turned 90 this year, which is really cool. Uh, we're gonna keep moving on with the shelf and for the shelf stuff. So these are my headphones that I use. These are Mezzi headphones, a company out of, I think, Romania. Uh, very nice. I love these headphones. Spent quite a bit on them. Ooh. <laughs> Another picture of my cat. Let me go ahead and move this so I can show you a little bit more of what is in this room. This is my lounge fly backpack that I used for my last Disney trip. This is Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Here is uh, May from Turning Red as a bowl. And here are all of my Mickey ears. Uh, I have quite a few, uh, but uh, you know, I, I use them to, to mark whatever trips that I'm happening to, you know, going to. Uh, and <laughs> one of my new favorite things is my Lego X-Wing. Um, this is something that I've wanted for quite some time. I've always wanted one since I was a kid. Finally got it for Christmas one year. Thank you to my stepdad. And then also I have a nice big signed poster by Stone Sour up on my wall. Now that we've kind of gone through and shown the information here, I'm just dropping stuff left and right. I apologize. Professional show here. So here is my collection. So the way I organize everything is we start with uh, A to Z. So it goes A all the way over to B. So the last one kind of starts David Bowie. And then it goes all the way over to here. And instead of going this way, it drops down here. So D starts with Dio all the way down to Hailstorm. And then H all the way down to L for lights. You come back up here and it goes L all the way to basically N. You skip this one. This is actually where I put my new arrivals and my current rotation. So um, yeah, uh, <laughs> when I said my last video was one year of new arrivals, I'm actually gonna have two years. So that's gonna take me a little bit of time to film, but you'll see most of the stuff from uh, the content from that video is gonna be in this particular cube here. We're gonna keep moving on. Here it starts with Olivia Newton-John. It goes all the way through P. So I believe the last one is Robert Plants. No, Pointer Sisters, there we go. P, Q, all the way through S. The end of S goes through T, all the way through W. Uh, Z's down here. And then at the very bottom down here is my compilations and soundtracks which instead of going by artist I actually go by title uh which is a little bit different because it would just be v for various artists so if i'm looking for a particular title let's just say like i save latin if i want to look for that particular uh comp i just have to look there by title and then at the very end is my christmas music go and keep this a rolling here <laughs> So this is also related to the concert I went to. This is a Casty Pope hoodie. Currently right now I cannot fit into this, so it's really just a display piece, but I'm hoping to fit into this one day. I have been working out and one of the life things that I'm gonna talk about is I have been really trying to lose weight. Um, before I even film this, I, I've been down quite a bit, so I'm, I'm just gonna continue to work through that. But um, yeah, I hope to fit into this one day. And then down here is my turning red backpack. I love Disney pins. This is actually overflow from my main pin board in the other room. But this is all the pins I happen to got, have gotten on my last trip. Keeping rolling down here. These are just random pins that I have gotten semi recently. I think, yeah, this is my most recent pick up for those pins uh continuing down of course is jenna mcdougall um if you remember when i walked over here this is nice i can come over here when i had this one i had a specific jenna only meet and green and this is the poster from that i also have a set list from the band pop evil 
uh, the last time I happened to see them. And I did actually get a guitar pick from that show as well. And, oh, I forgot. I'll have to explain uh, what the two items are by my turntable. Uh, I'm just going to keep rolling through here. Two of my favorite posters of really anything. These these are two of like the most important posters for my music taste and everything. This is the tour, Honda Civic tour that I happen to, um, to meet the band on and my first Paramore show. And this is the uh, era of Tonight Alive, basically my favorite bands. This is their debut album. Underneath that, if I roll out here, I got to go to a Paramore listening party for their new album, This Is Why. And when I got to go to that, they gave me a flexi disc of the uh, of the song Running Out of Time. So that is one of my pickups there. So um, I'm going to have to find a fancy way of cutting and showing you that. But that's for future me to find out. And I uh, think on. I did happen to go see the band Tool. And this is the show I went to. Now, every Tool concert actually has a poster. So um, I'd love to start collecting tour posters, but as you can see, I have very little room in this room. So it's, it's gonna get to a, a point where I don't have much space. And underneath that is, ha ha. So another show I happened to see last year was Foo Fighters. And this was a very important show to me because I waited 15 years to see them and I finally got to see them and it, it was just so wonderful. Uh, also, uh, I have a pair of Klish speakers and I usually keep the grade on, but if you want to happen to see these are Klish reference speakers. I have one here and one over here. And the main reason why I have it in the back of the room is I find that it fills the sound in this area a lot better. Keeping things rolling here, here is, this is my baby. Uh, I have one of two guitars. This is my Yamaha guitar that I do play occasionally. Um, I'm getting right back into it. Uh, thanks to that Cassidy Pope show that uh, I was at. Now, right next to my posters, and I'm going to have to move this chair again. This is a tiny, tiny room here. So this is where I hang out. Um, I work from home here. I play D&D &D here. So uh, here is my basic computer setup. Yes, that is a typewriter. I actually have two, and I am writing my first novel, actually novels, on that typewriter. I apologize for the trash there. That's I, I don't know where to put things in here. So uh, you're just seeing it live and raw here, but... Um, this is where I hang out, and there's a really cool picture down here. I'm going to have to swipe a little bit because my degree is over here, and I'm trying not to dox myself here. But uh, here is another art print that I happen to get at a Comic-Con. Now, down here is two of my favorite plushies. So um, this is uh, two plushies from uh, Splash Mountain, and there is... Uh, Baby Yoda or Gogru, uh, some of us know as uh, Star Wars fans. This is also my bottle of black and Metallica whiskey that I have for display. And then underneath that, I have uh, one specific show that's always with me, is my Doctor Who collection. So I love classic Doctor Who as much as the new show, but I really love classic Doctor Who. So from right here all the way down to here is all of classic Doctor Who. Um, my favorite doctor is the second doctor. So you can see I have quite a bit of that there. Um, photo album from when I saw Cassidy Poe. Going down here, here's all my music reference uh, books and a whole bunch of other magazines and like my guitar books and everything. And then my Switch games are down there as well. And then down here is just a little display for some uh, little musical tchotchkes that I happen to have in my PS5 games. And uh going to stop over here and show you and talk about this to wrap things up. So I did happen to see Diamante uh, quite a few years ago, and I got her and the band she was touring with at the time to sign my uh, set list. And then, of course, this is my uh, Lindsey Sterling signed Artemis 
uh, record. I, I actually have the record back here. What was really nice is that uh, Lindsay actually signed some blank covers, and that allowed uh, that allowed us to have a nice display as well. So yeah, I'm gonna kick it back to me sitting on the chair. Thank you for checking this video out. I know it's a little bit longer, but I wanted to do kind of an uncut view of what my record room looks like. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you're listening to. I'd love to, to hear and start a conversation down there. I'm gonna start getting rolling on my recent pickups, but I also, like you saw earlier, have a couple of concerts that I have to talk about as well. So I'm trying to roll out the content here. So uh, thank you for continuing to support and watch these videos when they have come out. I am glad to be back and keep an eye out for those future videos. And as I say at the end of everything I'm in, when the waters get rough, please keep on sailing. Hope you have a wonderful day, evening, whatever time you're watching this. Take care.